It just hurts because I was thinking, what, what should I do with them now? Should I... Say hi after so long it feels like um, like very very long and it's been long it's been I think almost two months since the last video right I'm speaking to you <laughs> and the reason why I think you already know that I spilled coffee over my computer and it took me a long time to kind of uh, bring it back to life now it's working, but it's I'm, I'm having a hard time editing the videos because I think the computer is not as strong as it was before. I, I know nothing about computers, so I just think it's not as strong as before <laughs> because it's having a hard time uploading, not uploading, exporting the videos. Anyways, <laughs> he's just laughing at me. <laughs> Highly professional services, repair services, mm. um, offered by Carol. It worked. It worked. It is working. The computer is alive. So to all of you inexperienced people, I am super, super experienced with computers and I'm going to show you how to repair your laptop if you spilled coffee on it. This is the situation right now. You can uh, hopefully see that there is a lot of coffee, dried out, dried out coffee on the computer. For example, here. And it's, it's bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever done. You're supposed to get the whole thing underwater. Except for the screen. It's looking a lot better. Really. Okay, I'm liking the looks of it, so I'm actually probably not even going to brush it. So as you saw, my computer is alive uh, by the grace of God. We have some news. We bought a car again. We have a new car! <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. I'm so excited and so thankful, so thankful mm -hmm. for this car. It's going to be a blessing to us and to many others, hopefully. Summer Are you excited? Campaign summer mountain rides yeah it's so much easier to go on adventures when you have a car it's so much easier here. to go climbing to go camping to go Wherever. everything swimming so yes we're excited the main reason why we bought a car is because we're moving to a place which is very far away from everyone and everything that we know and it would cost us as much to um, use the public transportation to come to church and visit our friends and everything as much as having a car. And now our house is a mess. It's driving me crazy. It makes me anxious to have the house looking like this, but I can't do anything about it now because it's, it's just natural. It's just um, how moving goes. And we're moving in three days. I don't know what that sound was. He's just laughing at me again. <laughs> Tell me, how are you feeling about moving? Happy. Why? Because uh, from this, our current apartment, I travel oh, an hour and a half each way to get to work. And on the new one, it's going to be about 45 minutes, so half. Of it. So actually I will gain an hour and a half by day. 
And we are excited about the new apartment too because it's 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 new and it's nice. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But we're also feeling very emotional about mm -hmm. leaving this town where we live because we've lived here for seven years now, oh, almost six years, six, six and a half yeah. years. Yeah, but it's it's good. You know, I was telling Daniel um, yesterday that I think I have the tendency of hanging on to things. Um, and thinking that what I have now or what I had before is better than what will come next. So I'm, I'm trying to just uh, embrace the new experience and the new adventures that we will live in the new apartment and be excited about all the new people that we're going to meet there, the new possibilities and the fact that he is going to come home <laughs> quicker from work. And I just noticed that you're making a video talking about people and I'm just eating and making faces in the background. <laughs> what? I'm talking about something serious here. Mm. It's coming from my heart. And you're making fun of me. I wanted to share with you... Stop making faces now. Because this is serious. I wanted to share with you something that I felt this week. Are you making faces? Mm. No. I felt this week. We um, are obviously packing up all our stuff to move and I was looking through all the warranties that we have for all the appliances and stuff that we bought and I was throwing away, away the ones that are not valid anymore and then I found the warranty and the receipt for the two car seats that we bought last year for the children that we believed would be with us until the end of last year and um, right now I don't even know if they will be here until the end of this year that would be it's that that's not likely that we will have mm -hmm. children until the end of this year and just it just hurt me because to look at that paper because I thought we were so hopeful when we bought those car seats and I just um, it just hurts because I was thinking, what what should I do with them now? Should I sell them? Because as you know, I think you know, you probably know. I don't I don't even know if I know the right information. But I, what I think is, what I read is that um, car seats you can't use them forever. Even if they're not being used, it may be that the regulations change for car seats mm -hmm. and that the the ones that we have right now are not cannot be used anymore when our children come and we paid kind of a lot of money for them mm -hmm. we have two brand new car seats no one's using them and I, I was trying to decide if I should list them online and try to sell them and try to gain back some of the money we spent on them or what should I do about them and it just made me sad it hurt it literally hurt to look at that paper and and realize that that we're still childless um, and um, yeah and also the fact that we are going to a bigger apartment yes that's been bothering us, me which too. is kind of weird because it's too big for just the two of us and mm -hmm. we are always oh, yeah we are preparing for the kids to come we are making plans we are building the structure for it yeah but the uh, the children are still not here and, and it's weird it's yeah. just weird in some ways we live in a lot of ways we live as if we had children already we make decisions based on our children and what's best for them and but we don't have children so it's mm -hmm. it's kind of it's just to show you guys how much infertility and being childless affects your life in in so many more ways than we can imagine if if you're not living it it affects the way we think it affects the decisions we make it affects what we buy and what we don't buy and what jobs we take yeah what we do what yeah. kind of opportunities for development and everything yeah we are going to finish packing today is sunday so we're not going to do anything else today we're going to visit some friends um 
but this week, tomorrow and on Tuesday we will finish packing and on Wednesday we begin moving and then I'll show you the new apartment as soon as we're there or as soon as it looks presentable because <laughs> this one's not presentable anymore um, so thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, for subscribing, for being a part of this family with us, of this journey with us, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great week. Bye. Did you say bye? Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>